During a press conference at the Sundance Film Festival, Colin Trevorrow, who directed last year's blockbuster Jurassic World and who is also set to direct episode 9 of the Star Wars franchise, announced that he planned on shooting the 2019 Star Wars movie on film. He was quoted as saying this, There's something in my brain that says, well, they didn't have video cameras then, said Trevorrow. It's a period film, Trevorrow joked. It happened a long time ago. Dennis, what are your thoughts about Star Wars Episode Nine being shot on film? I'm perfectly fine with Colin Trevorrow shooting Episode Nine on film. J.J. Uh, Abrams did it with Episode Seven. Ryan Johnson did it with Episode Eight. And I, I believe it's a filmmaker's choice. They can choose whatever they want to do. They want to do digital. They want to do film. They should always have that option. Having said that, it has zero effect on the quality of the film. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. The audience can't tell the difference. I know filmmakers talk about how organic or textured it looks and the audience doesn't care okay whether you loved or hated star wars episode seven it doesn't matter if it was shot on film or digitally it, it, let's say uh jj had shot it on film but let's say he did it digitally would you have <clears throat> liked the movie more or would you have liked it less it wouldn't have made any difference whatsoever clark what do you think i mean i yeah i i hate to be so snarky but i can't roll my eyes at this enough i'm just like <laughs> dude you've made Give one us a movie. good eye roll will you, clark? yeah it's just ugh, yeah. really <laughs> <laughs> josh knows it well yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, but uh no but i i i really think it's like dude y- this is ridiculous i mean Granted, though, I will say, to be fair, if, you know, Ryan Johnson and uh, and Abrams are shooting on film, why shouldn't he get to shoot on film, too? Yeah. Okay, fine. But the idea that it matters, I agree with you, Dennis. I mean, honestly, at this point, it really doesn't. And I know that there are filmmakers that swear by it. They mm-hmm. swear that they can see the difference. The best example I can think of is I was listening to Vince Gilligan on the WTF podcast talking about, I'm a film purist. I'm a film purist. Yeah, they shot Breaking Bad all on film. But then he, they, I think at some point, they switch to digital because what Vince Gilligan said, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but at some point Vince Gilligan said he and a cinematographer did a camera test and he's like, I know I'm going to be able to see it. I know I am. And then they sat down and he was like, I can't tell the difference. Right. And from then on, I think he's kind of like, so I lose this battle. But then you talk to people like, you know, yeah. So anyway, I, I don't think it's necessary. And I think also it's just, Strikes me as a little egotistical, I think. I'm like, you've made, what, one movie? Granted, it was the biggest movie of in the world, I whoa, guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I think you're made forgetting the movies. 2005 movie, Gary, colon, I forget what it did. <laughs> I just looked <laughs> so on his IMDb, but it was a no, he, he did safety not guaranteed. Okay, safety so you've guaranteed. made like three movies, yeah. and now, you know, it just this whole thing is so, it just strikes of ego to me. But, like I said, the other guy's got to do it. Why doesn't he? Fine. I, Okay. The reason why they're doing all of this on film is budget. They have the budget. They can do it on film. A lot of the reason that they've switched these amazing digital cameras is because they can make these movies on such a a smaller budget um, and they can make these amazing movies that may have not been made on film back in the day. Uh, But Star Wars is like, whatever you guys want to do, you want to make it on film, fine. I I know that there is very little difference, but I can't wait for blog posts from guys being like, now if you pause it at minute 36, (laughs) you can see a small blip and that's how you know it's on film. Okay, fine. but yeah, I don't. I don't think uh, it's gonna really affect the movie either way. I mean, there's still gonna be nine different versions of how we see it: full screen, widescreen, 70 millimeter. I don't know. IMAX, yeah. all of the above. But also, yeah. I mean, I would say too, just to throw out there, you know, and I'm curious what you guys think about this. You know, if I were directing a Star Wars movie and I had made a handful before that, and this is clearly the biggest thing. I mean, I guess Jurassic World was a lot of pressure too. But you know, I, I would just be thinking about the pressure to keep on your day, to keep whatever, and and I would imagine that being being able to shoot digital would maybe alleviate even a little bit of that yeah. pressure. Well, it'll, it'll alleviate your stress because you can see what you're actually shooting. People don't realize when you shoot on a film, you don't see what Nothing. you're shooting. Exactly. You see it later on dailies, and then you're like, "Oh man, Crap. I wish I had." You know, obviously, there's talented cinematographers out there, so they know, yeah. and you, the the directors trust the cinematographers to do their job. But as a director, you're kind of like, "I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers." That's all lighting. All those gaffers, they just that's film is their whole gig, you know? So the unions are probably super psyched because they're going to have to hire double the gaffers for film than they would for digital. And then also when he talks, I know he was joking about period piece, and and I understand where he's coming from with Star Wars. It's a period piece, Mm -hmm. right? But there's another period piece too, like Game of Thrones, which is shot digitally, and it looks phenomenal. It looks 
fantastic and pe- no one's complaining yeah. about that and also uh, interesting stories the pilot for game of thrones was actually shot on film mm. and then they did a bunch of reshoots <laughs> and they reshot on the re alexa which is which is digital and they intercut between the film and the digital and no, no one yeah, knew yeah. no one yeah. cared and then they shot the rest of the thing on digital so and i like- just like he said, in this world, they didn't have video cameras. Well, in this world, we don't have lightsabers. Yes. So I don't know what you want me to say on this one. Yeah, yeah. there's just a bunch of other examples. I mean, we just saw The Revenant, you know, which was shot on the mm-hmm. RE uh, Alexa 65, which is a digital camera. And that's a per- period piece as it well. Looks incredible. And it looks amazing. Yeah. One of the best looking films I've ever seen. So I just don't buy that it makes a difference in terms of the quality, quality of the film. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.